What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I am bringing you another gameplay from the Team Scrim series against that uh, particular team that I told you guys about in my last video that won some local lands and whatnot. Um, it's a pretty good little video, I'm only bringing you the first half of it though, because the second half I played a lot harder defensive play and I only got like 4 kills in the entire 5 minutes because of how defensive I was playing, so it was really boring to watch. And um, I cut out the first minute and a half, well I didn't purposely cut it out, I didn't realize I wasn't recording, and that's actually why my aim was a little bit shaky on that very first kill, because I was right when I was looking at my computer to start the recording and everything. But anyway, the two main topics of today is the MLG Columbus recap, and some competitive tips and tricks, and they go together because these tips and tricks are based around what we should be taking away from this event, what we should be learning and everything. So, jumping right into it. The top four placings for MLG Columbus were in first place complexity, as they have been for the past several events, including in the Black Ops 2. You know, they're still that big powerhouse. Then second is Team Caliber, and then tied for third is Justice Pro and Unite. Um, that's because Justice Pro and Unite didn't actually face off, so they get a technically tied placing for third slash fourth. So that's how that works. And Justice Pro, you know, kind of surprised a lot of people, including myself. You know, I mean, they eliminated Optic, Envy, TCM, and Curse New York, and they could have taken out several others. I don't know. Those are just the ones that I remember seeing them take out. So, I mean, they, they were really, really good. They took me by surprise. And there were a lot of AM teams and uh, some, some older pro teams that kind of came back and showed they still kind of have it. You know, they, they were knocking around some of the bigger... Uh, more well-known players of this time and it was really interesting to see that um one of the AM teams that made it quite a ways was Elevate and uh, I believe they had a chance on main stage to to play against uh, Complexity I'm not sure they, they might have played somebody else I'm sorry if I've got that wrong but uh, you know they had a chance against one of the bigger teams and it was you know interesting to see an AM team get that chance so anyway into the tips and tricks as as far as what we can take away from this event so the first thing is that Blitz is here to stay in competitive. We gotta learn it now because the spectators loved it. It was probably the more exciting game mode out of the three that we have right now to watch at this event, especially on such a high level. You know, it was the, everybody was just so engaged with it in the audience. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be here to stay. So we've all gotta learn it now. Um, and Blitz is all about stealth. You know, if you've been watching the event, you notice that like Rambo, you know, he would just let people run by him, call him out and then go in some sneaky way and score so that's something you need to be uh, considering when you play blitz you gotta be playing super stealthy and then I noticed that the main strategies for blitz were either a three-man defense or a three-man offense and it just kinda depends on what your team is based around I mean I know Envy kinda played that more defensive role when they were playing Justice Pro on their blitz game so you know that's that's something to consider another thing is that the sniper first blood in S and D is super super important. You know, you saw complexity doing that. When whenever they got the first blood, they were pretty much winning that round no matter what. They are the best S and D team right now, so you know you got to get a sniper that can get that first blood every time. Another thing is that the thermal hybrid site it was pretty huge in this event. There was a lot of smoke being thrown down, and that thermal hybrid site is just amazing. I mean, I don't actually like using the thermal part of it very much. I find that the the hybrid part of it is really really good, so I would try that out. Uh, next thing is that the, or actually the last thing is the power weapons. So we have pretty much established what is going to be used on land now unless they patch some of these weapons. So basically people were using for assault rifles the Remington R5 or the SC2010. Uh, those are just the two best assault rifles right now. Next is the, for submachine guns, is the MTAR, Vector, or Bison. Most of the time people were using the MTAR. And then for snipers was the L115 and the USR. So those are all the weapons. Nobody really used shotguns. A couple teams tried it, but I didn't see very many in the upper rounds use it. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.